Hi, it's Chloe from Queen of Arts, and this is How to Cater Polyclay. There are a few different methods, and I'm just going to be showing you um, three workable methods of using this Cato polymer, uh, baked Cato polymer sheets. Um, it's what I call working dry. The first method is a little bit challenging and may not be, if you're a beginner, something that you're, you would want to try. Um, you, you will be needing um, some sort of Illustrator program like Adobe Illustrator, um, something that you can use to create, first of all, an actual design uh, that's compatible with the Cricut Joy or the, any of the Cricut machines. So that's the first thing that you're going to need to do and that's how I, I created this specific design was using Adobe Illustrator. In total, I used, I think it was four sheets of uh, baked Cato clay sheets. The first one, that what you're looking at right here, is um, a piece of red Cato uh, sheeting um, baked. I didn't like the red, so I thought I want, I'm going to try a, a whitewashed effect. So I used my Unipox Posca pens. And um, I kept the other sheets just to show you. I'm, I'm, I actually uh, kept them and store them in a plastic sleeve. But um, what you're looking at here is the little accents around the flowers. Um, cut those out on uh, the Cricut Joy and uh, basically cut them, took them all out, and then came the brown stems of the flower, did the same thing, and then the flowers in the red. Well, the next thing I did was I assembled all the pieces like a puzzle, and if, if you take a look here, uh, the way I was able to do that is I had some onion skin that I had adhered to with some glue on the back of the first sheet, um, uh, and then I just added um, all the uh, flowers and the accents around the flowers and the stems. As you can see, this is how it turned out prior to me cutting things out. So um, I used scissors. It cut, this this uh, way to do things is so great because you can just use scissors and just cut out circles or cut out whatever shapes you like out of the veneer. Now, mind you, because... Um, I have been experimenting quite a bit with this. Um, you can see that, you know, uh, some of the pieces are falling out, but it's quite easy because all you have to do is just get some uh, some glue. I use um, the tight bond uh, glue uh, that dries very quickly, and um, it's for me it's allergen free, so that's what I use. But you can use any any method of glue you like. And yeah, just cut it out with scissors. And, um, and now here, I wanted to try something different. So I thought, okay, what if I can just punch it out? So in order for me to punch it out, you'd need something, and it did turn out too well um, because I kind of cut right through one of where the, uh, the little embellishments sat, um, the stems and the accents. So I got a, um, a leather cutting kit. It was less than $20 off Amazon. Um, and if you look with this round one, it's got a dull side and a very, very sharp end that tapers in towards the middle. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to just get a hammer, put some sort of wood block across, and I just like thwacked it a couple times, like two times, like bang, bang. 
Um, and, and out it came. I mean, it's a way to do it, right? Yeah, after, you know, finishing it with some nice uh, art resin, it turned out really nicely. That was the first one I did. Method two, it's a little bit different. It's a combination of unbaked Kato and hardened embellishments. So the embellishments from the first uh, method, um, it's very simple. I laid it out on a silicone sheet. I'll talk to you about that at another time, another video, how to make one of those uh, because they wouldn't move. That's why I chose to do it on that. You could actually run wax paper, but it might slip around. Put the baked polyclay, uh, the unbaked polyclay sheet over top, roll it over to embed them. And then just turn flip them over and that's what you get and uh, then all you do is you get a cutter i used now this didn't work as well as i was hoping but uh th because this was a plastic round circular cutter but um i ended up marking it in such a way that i could go back and maybe use an exacto knife around the ends around the, the circumference and um, this is what ha this is uh, what it looks like. Put that in the oven and baked it. Colored it with some gold uni Posca pen. Wiped it off with a cloth to give it an antique look. And so beautiful and shiny with some art resin. It filled in all of the the uh, ridges, etc makes it look really nice and if you don't like a shiny look you just rub off the shine with a plastic eraser the third method is probably a good way to start for beginners you're just like it's it's, it's kind of like baking cookies so you actually cut the shape of the cookie first Now, my, I'm not a jeweler, so please excuse my design. <laughs> it's a little crazy and just sort of nonsensy looking. But yeah, so I just made a blue uh, sort of scalloped edged design. Put a hole in the middle for the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the bales or whatever. This could be used as a you know, like a chain or some earrings or something. And then you just push in the already baked embellishments. Again, I'm using all these embellishments from the first um, veneer that I had because this is what I had on hand. So. And then you put it in the oven and even if the end little embellished edges are sticking out, clip them off. There you go. Easy, easy, simple, easy, easy, easy. So I hope you enjoyed that small, that short video of um, using Kato uh, polyclay bake sheets. It's so easy. It it. You know, especially if you're going to be in business and um, have to roll in your time as to your price of your um, your item that you're making, whether it be jewelry, whether it be 
fridge magnets, whatever it is that you're making with your polymer clay, you want to make sure that you're being as effective and as quick as possible so that um, you can get the most bang for your buck when you start pricing your, your, uh, your art. So like, leave a constructive comment or subscribe. And until next time, see ya.